Hi, yeah, I'm just south of Daytona Beach. Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me because it's really, really windy, so there's probably all kinds of weird wind sound on there. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We are still gonna be doing some treasure hunting, but we're gonna be doing treasure hunting, specifically shark tooth hunting on the dirt roads after Tropical Storm Isai, which is over there, comes through and puts a bunch of rain on this side of the state right here. So I took a drive over here to the coast because I wanted to get some footage and document some of this storm coming in. I'm really interested in the weather and storms. I used to want to be a storm chaser when I was in high school and when I was a little kid and all that good stuff. So here I am today at the coast waiting for Isaias to show his face. It's getting a little bit darker over there, but it's not super dark yet. And it's pretty dang windy and those waves are pretty dang gnarly. So I'm excited guys. We're gonna check out this storm and then tomorrow we are gonna be looking for fossils after the rain. Let's do it. Oh, here comes the rain. I gotta get my car to get wet. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Woo! The camera's getting wet. Okay. <laughs> gotta unlock it. <laughs> started pouring down rain on me immediately after I got my intro. I got it right in the nick of time and it's uh seems to be kind of letting up. I might be able to run out there really quick. I don't know. I am just south of Daytona Beach right there. If you look here it's on the future. We're going six o'clock, six thirty, up to seven and it's a while before it kind of starts getting closer but it won't be too long now. It is uh, 547 right now. Might be seeing some cool stuff soon. Well, since the rain hasn't been letting up to let me get out there with my camera to get closer to the water, we can zoom in right here at least. And it's really hard to tell, but those waves are insane. Those are gnarly looking. Oh my goodness. Okay, it seems like the rain has let up a little bit, just enough to where I can get outside with the camera without fear of ruining it. And we're gonna get some closer shots of the waves and stuff back there. Let's go check it out. Whee! I'm walking down to the water now. Apologies about any crazy wind noise. It is extremely windy. I don't think the water is usually up to here and high tides not till nine o'clock. <laughs> so that's probably some storm surge starting, but these waves are absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. I love the ocean. She's a beautiful, powerful beast. I'm telling y'all this camera does not do these waves justice. These things are monsters and I guarantee you the audio is clipping like crazy right now. It is so insanely windy right here. Those waves are freaking crazy. In a little while I am gonna get out of here I'm not probably gonna stay through the thick of it because I don't think that's necessarily a good idea I'm not a trained storm chaser or anything like that but it's really cool to get out here and see some of this in action and then tomorrow we get to go find some cool fossils pretty crazy uh, but now it's kind of like I'm looking at the radar and it looks like what's gonna hit here is gonna kind of be after dark um, so unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to see any of the major action But we got some of those bands that came through which was that rain right after my intro and all that stuff Got a close look at all the waves and stuff. It's absolutely crazy out there Really cool stuff the storm surge is like already starting to come in and everything but it's pretty crazy these storms are powerful um, But I guess this now means that it's time to just head home I've got a couple hour drive and uh, then we get to do some fossil hunting later on in this video right after this which will be actually tomorrow. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Should be a lot of rain in those areas. Should be some stuff washed out. We'll see. So I'm headed home now, guys, and I had absolutely no choice but to show you this beautiful, beautiful sunset, but also behind me. I just drove through a band of rain that's coming off of the tropical storm. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is absolutely evil. That's what I just drove through, look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so dark. The clouds are insane. It just looks, it looks evil. 
that's crazy and then right over there a beautiful beautiful sunset I, I had to get this shot too because look how scary this looks look how absolutely evil it looks right now oh my gosh and i'm starting to feel raindrops so i better get back in the car but yeah tomorrow fossil hunting guys let's get to it all right y'all here we are the day after the storm heading out to the roads now to do some megalodon shark tooth hunting and whatever other type of shark teeth we'll find and some cool fossil shells on these dirt roads as well we have the fossil mobile with us today who will guide us gracefully through fields of demons to find fossils. Thank you, fossil mobile. I'm feeling pretty hungry though. I'm gonna eat me a Pringle. Mmm. Oh God, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Have y'all ever even wondered how I managed to find fossils? There's a very specific ritual you have to do beforehand. I'll show you that right now. <laughs> well, now that that's out of the way, let's go find some fossils. Hop in the fossil mobile. She will guide us. Let's go. Here we are, road number one, and it is looking mighty shelly and mighty washed out. So, hopefully today gonna be a good one, my friends. Oh, I just found something really cool. Check this out. Okay, so it's just a part of a shell there with matrix on it and a shark tooth stuck in the matrix on a piece of shell. Oh my goodness. I just put that in my bag, guys, and I took one little step. Do you see that? Look at those serrations. That is a great white shark tooth. Is it complete? It's small. Oh my gosh. That's such a beautiful great white. Oh, that is so killer. I'm on the first road of the day. That is awesome. That makes me extremely happy. Look at that beast. Alrighty, gotta keep on walking. There's a very nice cone shell right there. My phone keeps overheating. Let's hope it stays good for this. Look at that. A Mako shark tooth right there. And a little piece of a broken bull shark. And I think that's a piece of the Mako. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, man. I love finding Mako shark teeth. That one's pretty cool. A great white shark tooth and a Mako shark tooth on that road and some other cool stuff. I will absolutely accept that. What I will not accept is the absolutely dreadful heat of 95 degrees with a heat index of 10,000. But we must carry on, so we're gonna go to another road. One of the best parts about hunting these roads is the fact that even when it's super hot out, it's not too terrible because you're normally just walking for a real short time, then hopping back in your car with the beautiful air conditioning. So we're gonna be at some new roads here soon, y'all. Here's a little spot I haven't been to in a long time. Look at all them shillies. Might be good. There's a very nice cone shell right there, along with an olive shell and an olive shell and an olive shell and a cool little swirly pointy shell and so many cool fossilized shells look at another olive shell and another cone shell and a drop one yeah this spot's loaded with cool shells a couple cool things right here check out this nice guy beautiful and right there you can see some beautiful calcite very, very cool. Oh, more focus. There we go. A little bit of calcite crystals on that shell cache thing. Very cool. Check that out. There's a nice little tooth right there. A small one, but a shark tooth nonetheless. So I found some cool stuff at that road. Got a little shark tooth, some shells, a little piece of calcite. So some pretty neat stuff. This guy shows up. <laughs> this, this man is literally walking around in circles on the road holding a giant stick that's like as tall as me. It's like this giant stick. And he's like angrily pacing around and he's like sweating and stuff. And it was <laughs> freaky, man. I don't know. It was really weird. But I, needless to say, I got out of there. So luckily we're safe now. Headed to another road. Let's see what we can find there. There's a Mako that is busted. Man, would have been nice. And look, right next to it, a really nice cone shell. Sweet. I'm just as excited about this as a shark tooth, guys. That shell. 
right there is a rare Junonia, I do believe. It looks like it. Very cool shell. Sweet. Well, that was definitely the hottest walk of the day so far. It's a little bit longer stretch of road, so I was out in the sun longer. Found some cool stuff, been finding some pretty cool stuff on every single spot so far, so that is very, very good. But we're gonna keep on going because we gotta find even more, and hopefully a Megalodon shark tooth today would be fantastic. I had to pull off to get a clip of this stuff. Look at this stuff. It's like funky, crazy moss. It's everywhere. It's so cool looking. Ooh, and it's like, it feels like a sponge. What is this stuff? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. <laughs> That's some sort of fungus or something, or like, I don't know. What is this called? Let me know in the comments below. It's beautiful. Just got to a road that I've never been to before, guys, and I am absolutely terrified because look at that right there. It looks like it's cracked up right there, so it might be split down the middle from the road. Let me grab my keys so I can try and dig it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. I need to be very, oh no. <sighs> I'm so worried that it's gonna come out in two pieces. Oh, I just saw that part. Oh, no. <clears throat> At least I'll be able to glue it back together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sad it got busted. Someone must have ran it over. But that should fit right back together nicely. Heck yeah, man, that is absolutely beautiful. Very nice. Why? Why, why did it have to be like that? Oh my goodness. That's going to look so good put back together, guys. I'm excited about that. It's so shiny. It's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> well... That was ridiculously exciting to find that Megalodon shark tooth. It's busted in half. It's so beautiful though, it's gonna look great when I put it back together. I gotta do some research and figure out the best way to glue it back together to where it looks beautiful and seamless. That is a cool tooth, the color is amazing. Oh my god. Luckily it's like five o'clock, so we got time for more roads. Let's do it. Look at that, one of the nicest pieces of calcite ever on these roads that is so cool well maybe not the nicest but that's gonna look great cleaned up beautiful little piece with little points on it nice calcite crystal heck yeah i don't think i've ever seen that bug in my life <laughs> what is that oh my god it's so creepy but beautiful at the same time look at him all right we'll name you uh bob bye bob look who's hiding right there Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's attached to Matrix, that's cool. Ah, I'm so sad it's busted. But it's part of a Megalodon, that's awesome. How is that even here? <laughs> that's bone. That's a giant chunk of whale bone. That's crazy. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Look at this, guys. My car is still running. I was literally driving to a spot that used to be really good. It didn't really look good anymore because there's all these tracks and stuff. And then I looked right there and I think there's a gigantic <laughs> Mako shark tooth. Oh my goodness. That is the most insane Mako shark tooth I've ever found on these roads. Holy crap. Oh baby. Well, this is amazing. I'm very happy now. All right. What? I literally decided I had no choice but to sit down after finding this. Like, like the biggest Mako I've ever found and the nicest Mako I've ever found on the roads. You know what this means. <sighs> Rub it on my face. This is such a nice Mako shock. Wow, Megalodon shark tooth, Mako shark tooth. I'm a happy camper. Look at it, look at it. 
I have no justification for what I just did. I just did it because it felt right because of this beautiful Mako. Oh, man. Well, I think that's going to end the roads for the day, my friends. We're going to go home and lay everything out, show you all of it in one little spot. Let's do it. And here we are, friends, at home, everything all laid out. Let's start over here with tons of beautiful shells. I got a lot of cone shells, which is pretty cool. Some olive shells. I got some little tiny teeth and little busted up pieces of bigger teeth, like a Mako and a Meg. Got this little thing with a little shark tooth in there, which is pretty cool. There's awesome Junonia shell. Some calcite right there on that shell cast. And some nice calcite right there. And then the kings of the day oh my goodness this thing I have not glued it together yet but you can get a good idea what it's gonna look like right there it's gonna look amazing put back together I got this killer little great white shark tooth and I'm absolutely in love with that and my flash turned off because it said my device got too hot so anyways there's that I got these right there half of Meg and then my favorite find of the day this uh the beautiful, amazing, why won't you focus on my Mako? <laughs> that thing is just absolute beast. Ah, uh, I'm in love with it. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to subscribe. If you are new, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.